You are here in Kuala Lumpur and you're wondering what to do and where to eat? Well, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Aina Suzaili and you are watching Traveloka Travel Guide. And joining me today is Mark Dan! Yeah! Alright, good huh? <laughs> So we put together a list of the top things to do in Kuala Lumpur. is KL Bird Park, a 20-acre aviary with over 200 species of birds. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Seriously, yeah? <laughs> there are four zones in KL Bird Park. Zones 1 and 2 are free flight zones, where you will see many different species of birds living together in one space. Zone 3 is the Hornbill Park, where the Great Hornbill lives. And Zone 4 is where the birds are placed in separate cages in mini aviaries. Okay, nice. Ah, Fun fact about ostrich, eh? Dia punya mata lebih besar daripada otak, maksudnya? Ini, ini kurang cerdik. Ah. Ah, Nak kata bodoh, Sama takut dia rasa hati. Kurang cerdik. Ah. Kurang cerdik. Before coming to KL Bird Park, here are some helpful tips. Wear comfortable shoes as there's going to be a lot of walking. So you have to be careful when you come here. Beware of bird poop. All right, let's go. Don't mess with the birds. This is what happens when you mess with them. Sini. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Mark Dan spent so much time with the birds that he started acting like one. Okay, so we're going to the beach exactly like that. Wee, wee, don't good. Wee. We also got something to eat at the Hornbill Cafe. At the Hornbill Cafe, we have nasi lemak or coconut rice. So here we have some sambal, uh, some pickled cucumber with some pineapple, uh, some fried anchovies and some fried nuts, and a couple of boiled eggs on top. So this is traditional Malaysian breakfast with a chicken curry or curry ayam. So I'm having um, English breakfast. So we have omelette and bread and hash browns, beef bacon, Big beans. Ah, This is the most interesting activity. Whoa! Okay, dah sampai dekat Taman Botani Perdana Kuala Lumpur. So guys, this is one of the places that you guys can visit. Jangan risau tak ada duit ke pokai ke. Don't worry guys, it's uh, completely free. But for now, Mak Dan mana? Mak Dan, where are you? Mak Dan! Yo, coming! Let's go! Hey, wait for me ah! Perdana Botanical Garden, previously known as Lake Garden. It's a huge 91 hectare park 10 minutes away from Dataran Merdeka. In here, you will find beautiful landscape gardens, a few lakes, a children's playground, bamboo playhouse, orchid park, hibiscus park, deer park, and even free Wi-Fi. It's a nice place to come for a quiet stroll or to spend quality time with your family. Okay, so now we're having a competition. Siapa yang boleh jaga bola banyak kali? Sebab I memang pro, bola sepak. I know tak tahulah. <laughs> you pergi dulu lah, ladies first Okay. Lah. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah! Five ball juggling, five times. So I have to beat five lah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, one more time, one more time. <laughs> one, two, three, three. <laughs> Aina, Shazaili. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Alhamdulillah selamat datang kat Rebung okay, ya. Okey. Thank you thank you. Susah tak dapat. Senang je Rebung. Siapa tak kenal tu? Tanya-tanya orang. Right next to Perdana Botanical Garden, there's a traditional Malay restaurant called Restaurant Rebung by Datuk Chef Ismail, one of Malaysia's top celebrity chefs. Here, you will find a big buffet spread of Malay kampung food, including freshly made roti jala, popia basah, delicious laksa and sweet and sour fish. The buffet is very affordable at only RM40 for lunch and RM50 for dinner. You can literally eat until you drop. Makanan yang paling orang cari kat sini adalah makanan tradisi, makanan kampung yang ke, yang hit sangat ialah nasi lemak. Nasi, nasi ulam. Oh, nasi ulam. Hmm. And then rendang pucuk ubi. Already starving from our adventurous day, Mak Dan and I couldn't wait to dig in. So since Aina ni penggemar makanan kampung, So, saya memang tahu lah kalau budu yang sedap tu macam mana. So, budu dia ni, uh, memang nyakut. Memang, memang nyakut mulai eh kalau kata kata. Dia punya lemak budu tu sedap. Lepas tu, dia punya ikan ni, uh, pati masak temboyak. Sebab kadang-kadang kalau kita pergi makan dekat kedai lain, atau dekat mana-mana lah, punya ada bau tau. Tapi yang ni clean. And dia punya isi tu sangat lembut. Ting salai ni, memang lembut lah. Dia punya kuah dia memang berlemak lah. Creamy lah, memang pekat lah. Sebab kadang-kadang bila kita makan daging salai ni, kuah dia cair. Tapi ni, Memang murni rasa memang masak dengan kasih sayang lah. Apa pun makanan kampung memang terbaik. After that, we had some ABC at the dessert station. Since it's self-serve, we created our own eyes and added our favourite toppings. So in terms of food, memang terbaik and hospitality, huh, super. Harga pun berpatutan. Yeah. Alright. So sekarang? We move to the next location. Dekat mana? Ah. Aha, tunggu. Kan. Alright. So this is the place where KL City was founded. Yes, at the joining of the Klang and Gombak rivers. Mm, and now it's called River of Life. And it's a beautiful place to visit, especially at night. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A dazzling place I never knew. No, 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 no. Eh, okay, what? Kak, 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 kak. Jealous, satu. So, you're lagi sedap. Oh. If you're looking for a nice romantic stroll by the river, come and check out the River of Life, located right behind Masjid Jamit. The best time to come here is at night, when the beautiful fountains and lights come on. Right next to the River of Life is the magnificent Sultan Abu Samad building, one of the most photographed buildings in Malaysia because of its unique architecture. Okay, so after a long day, we've arrived here at Hulu Hotel and Gallery on Bukit Bintang uh, untuk tidur. Okay, thank you. Twelve thousand ringgit. Hello, welcome to my hotel. A lot of people when they come into the hotel, they will always ask the question, is this a gallery or the hotel? So basically this is both. We have about 60 over artists in our hotel. So basically they occupy uh, all of the rooms. Each of the rooms we have one artist and we have their photos and their name in the door of the hotel. Wow, the name is so cool. 205 Wow! There's a big shark on the wall! This room is small but cozy. Uh, that's the most important thing. Alright! The floor, right? Oh. Wow! Ooh, nice, huh? Okay, TV! Artwork, nice bed, like Japanese style sunken bed, hot shower, nice toilet, a decent sized bathroom lah. Ah. Oh. Okay. Alright. You leave me alone now, ah? Okay. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, so actually I found this hotel to Traveloka app. 
if you guys register and log in you can get member only deals so you can get like up to 25% discount if you guys looking for hotels or flights I recommend this app Next on our list of top things to do is batik painting at my batik Kuala Lumpur. There are many different workshops that you can try, including batik colouring and waxing for only 53 ringgit. But for today, we've enrolled ourselves in a one and a half hour t-shirt painting workshop for 127 ringgit. Let's get started. So it depends on your creativity lah. Macam I, I rasa macam bunga ni tak cukup besar. So I tambah sendiri. So this is before painting. Nanti we see what happen after painting. Winner, 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 winner. Okay, so dia bagi basic uh, tiga colour je. Blue, yellow and red colour. So kita tengoklah siapa yang colour lagi cantik. I think I'm gonna win this lah. Easy lah. If you are up for a fun traditional art experience, head over to my batik Kuala Lumpur. Remember to book your slot in advance to secure your place in the workshop. So right now, who win? Oh, who win? Who's the winner? I think mine lah, eh, looks better. Actually, uh, one is a Malaysian kind and one is a Malaysian hibiscus uh, flower. Yeah. I think both. perfect match. Both match. Uh, both, oh. yeah. 50 -50 so we are winner. Draw lah. Ah, okay, one all. Alright. <laughs> Just 10 minutes away from my batik, there's this nice cute cafe on Lorong Nibo called That Latte Place. It's located on the first floor of the building and you can go up in this tiny little elevator. We love this place because it's cozy and relaxing. And just as TNM suggests, the latte here is amazing. <laughs> we tried the croaked chicken sandwich with freshly grilled chicken, delicious fried egg, topped with shredded cheese and baked in an oven. And the breakfast plate with grilled sausages, scrambled eggs, caramelized onions and homemade toast. style egg. Even your homemade garlic bread and then the telur sepan masak with the garlic yogurt so it's garlic gila and then a little bit of chili oil so a little bit of a cake. Ooh, it's that good. Yeah. If you're in town, we definitely recommend checking this place out. Next stop is Aquaria KLCC, a 60,000 square feet aquarium with over 250 species of aquatic animals. Entrance fees are at 69 ringgit for adults, 59 ringgit for children, and 49 ringgit for senior citizens. If you are Malaysian, remember to show your IC for discounted rates. You can spend up to two hours exploring this wonderful place and checking out the unique underwater life. It's the longest underwater tunnel in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Rough meter? It's uh, 90 meters long. 90 meters long. And you got stingray, sharks, turtles, turtles and all kinds of uh, species lah, of fish. Okay, ikan belakang ni, ah, yang macam ni, dia boleh jadi besar sampai dia boleh makan orang. Boleh sampai lima enam meter. So ni, this is my first time tengok catfish ikan keli yang sebesar ni. Biasa kan kalau kita order kat dekat kedai makan ikan keli kecil kan, tapi yang ni besar. Scary, scary. Oh, dia macam ketam. Ah, ini memang jenis crab. Oh, crab ya. Auto, auto feeding 
Okay, so every day they've got all the different kinds of feeding zones which you guys can check out on their website. Uh, just to let you know that every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday is the shark feeding time. Tengok secara live, right? ikan you eh. Ikan you. Uh, ikan you. So, diorang bagi makan. So, korang boleh tengok macam mana ikan you tu makan makanan. Okay, sekarang kita dekat tapak. Yeah. Tapak di tengah-tengah kota Bandaraya Kuala Lumpur. Tapak ni orang panggil food truck park. I think inside they got about 35 different food trucks. They're always changing life, so you're never gonna get bored with what you gotta eat. I'm hungry. You? Lapa. Ah, tak, right. tak boleh cakap ni lapa. Boleh Then, tak? Jom, sekarang boleh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tapak Urban Street Dining is located on Jalan Ampang. It's a 10-minute walk from KLCC. Here, you will find a large variety of food from your favourite local dishes to a selection of Western, Mexican and tasty fusion food together with all sorts of beverages. It's good, it's good. Oh, it's good. Kau kena ka. Ah, sawadi ka. Nampak kita beli dekat kedai siam, kena cakap siam. So ada dapat dah pak kerapau daging. So RM8 saja. Eh murah kan? Okay, so this is my salted egg chicken. Uh, actually it's not on the menu but I asked them they said they could do it lah. Uh, custom order. Hmm. Pak kerapau daging. Pedas. Main dia dia punya daging lembut. Sana. Ni pedas. Ini salted egg ni, it's not it's not too spicy lah. I mean, it's got some chilies on there. So it's deep fried chicken lah. The chicken is nice and soft and crispy on the outside. And then it's with this salted egg buttery kind of sauce. Mm. For dessert, we decided to get some roti sangkaya, steamed white bread with a special pandan custard sauce. The sauce was just nice, not too sweet but creamy and delicious. Buy, eat, clean. Thank you. Ah, it's to concept tapak lah. When she finished, there's yes. the bin. Throw the garbage and there's plenty of garbage bins dotted all around. So okay, let's go. Okay, jom. Kita kemas lah buang mana yang tak nak, mana yang tak habis ni. Stay tuned for more exciting activities coming up in part two. In the meantime, we really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. And also, feel free to suggest new destinations for us to cover in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching guys and thanks to Traveloka.